Okay, now what we're doing is taking out our legs, and these are quite heavy, and so um, we're going to stand this up. Hold on a sec, I'll show you another way. You have a seam in this plastic, you just take it, and you can just pull it right at the seam, take off all that nice bubble wrap that's protecting your post. Okay, once you've removed the leg, you'll notice that we have our lock, lock cutouts on a side where there's a right and there's a left post. So we need to make sure when positioning our leg that we have the locks to the outside of the lift. So this one here now is gonna go up here to this front corner. And as you see, the cutouts for the locks are on the outside of the lift and that'll match up our crossbars. So when unloading the legs, what you're going to do is you'll find the first two that you take out are going to go to one end of the lift. The second two that are still remaining in here that are bolted to the framing, that's going to go to the opposite end of the lift. And now Jay's going to take a 19 millimeter wrench and an impact and take off our legs, the bolts that are holding them to the bracket. Now you'll notice that our base plate is below the cross of the track here. So this has to actually be picked up a little bit to get out of there. you're figuring out what room you have, always consider your door and the tracks because that is your lowest height in your ceiling. You'll need a certain height in order to assemble a lift and you'll need a height in order to operate your lift. It's very important once you get this into your garage that you need to leave adequate space to be able to install this lift. So you want at least five feet from your wall to the start of your lift to get the rod in. Same thing on the other end. You'll need five feet from a wall or um, so that you can put in the, the lock rod at that point. Now, what, when you're positioning this, you're gonna make sure this is the port. Here's the hydraulic hose that goes to that port. That means the power unit's gonna be on this post. So it has to be in congestion. When I, when I brought this in off the trailer, I knew I wanted the power unit on the passenger side rear post. So we positioned it this direction. But I just, this port's going to come out here, the power unit will sit here. They have to go together. Okay, this is the point where we have our columns out. It's easy access in order to put a coat of wax on here. I like to use a hard paste wax, but you can also use a spray on wax. And what that does is help lubricate the sliders that are in all four corners of every post. And what we find, it, it, it'll stay on there and keep it lubricated, and it, the wax will not affect your clothing if you bunch up against it. Some people say they want to put grease on. We don't recommend that because it just gets messy. So I'm just going to reach as high as I can, put a big, a quick coat of paste wax on here. Tony will follow behind me and clean it off. I may want to mention that all this hardware that is used to bolt the lift together, we will not reuse any packaging hardware.